Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Rugged Medicine YouTube channel. In today's video, during the lockdown of COVID-19 here in the UK, I'm going to share some resources with you for e-learning online CPD that I've used or I would recommend you look into and also some suggestion on how you can get a good deal on e-learning packages. Let's go jump in and have a look. The first resource I want to talk about comes here from the UK and is by the British medical journal, the BMJ. And they have their own learning platform called BMJ Learning that you can access on learning.bmj.com or simply type BMJ Learning into the search engine. Now, when you land, get to their landing page, you can find out what modules are actually free to try. And you can get those by typing free module into the search bar. Click search. And a handful of modules will come up. Unfortunately, not all 588 that are showing as results are actually free. It's only the ones that are labeled free module, such as spontaneous pneumothorax, various others, including basic practical skills of injection technique. Now, those will give you a good insight into what you can expect from these courses, what level of reading, links, embedded material, interactive material. And the better option here will be to actually go and subscribe. Now on the top right, you've got the subscription button. Now you get to the summary page and it says it's 12 pounds a month, which will make it 144 a year. Don't be put off by that. There's actually different options available if you change over to the yearly option over here. And under yearly, you will see you can actually select nurse and student as an option, which means if you're currently a healthcare student, you're actually down to 41 pounds a year, which is three pounds a month. And that will give you access to more than 400 learning courses and you have CPD certificates you can download, you can save, you can print and put into your portfolio. Now, before you go ahead and buy that, check whether you can access this differently. If you, for example, have an Open Athens account, which here in the UK NHS staff generally have, and a lot of organization and training companies will also have access to, that means you may already have institutional access or you can sign in with your Open Athens account. Thereby, you don't actually have to spend those £41 or more a year, but you already have access to it, which means you might as well try that first, and then if that doesn't work, then go and get yourself a subscription. The next CPD resource I want to talk about is research.com. Now, as the name suggests, this is for recertification. Now, this website is based in the US, which means it is specifically designed around the American curriculum of paramedics, EMTs, advanced EMTs, and so forth. And they've got quite stringent requirements on what areas of CPD they must have done in order to meet their recertification requirements. The UK, South Africa, Germany are not that prescriptive on what exactly you have to do, so you've got more flexibility. However, because they're required to do such a range of things in different areas, such as airway management, cardiology, trauma, etc., they have a very large database generally of courses and um, resources that you can use. Now, research.com used to be medicce.com. A few years ago, that changed. Not sure why, if they were bought or what happened. This is now um, available under research.com. And here on the right, you can see you can try research at no cost. The free modules that research.com gives you are only very small selection of courses, I think, but I can't remember exactly, but it's enough to give you an insight and a bit of a um, session of CPD for free while you make up your mind whether you want to purchase a subscription. The topics you can see vary quite a lot. Now, they're not only based around the emergency medical services, EMS, the ambulance service, but also around the fire service. So if you're a member of the fire service, I'm not sure how that works. They may have a similar CPD portfolio requirement as paramedics, EMTs, etc. do, but I wouldn't be able to comment on that. The amount of courses available is supposedly over 200 at the moment, with varying topics such as airway and ventilation, pharmacology, resuscitation, shock, trauma, and uh, various others. Now, subscription options vary and start with you being able to buy individual courses, which means if there's a particular topic you're interested in or you're just thinking, I want to brush up on that, you can buy an individual course for around $5 at the moment or you can get annual subscription for about $45 to $60 a year, depending at which time you watch this and purchase this. 
Now, if you are planning on doing a large amount of CPD, of course, an annual subscription is definitely the bigger, better deal. And um, you may just find that this teaching style may work better for you or this type of delivery than it does on other platforms. It's very much personal preference. So it just depends on what sort of CPD you're after. The next e-learning portal I want to talk about is ELFH, e-learning for health. Now, this is one that is published by Health Education England, in other words, the NHS, and therefore it covers the key areas that currently affect healthcare, as well as all mandatory training that is required as part of your uh, employment or as part of being a student, which means a lot of training organizations and universities will be using this for you to fulfill your annual training requirement. So if you want to get into this, you can go to e-lfh.org.uk and here on top, you can do register or log in. Now, in order to sign in here, you need to have, or you can sign in with an Open Athens account, or you can try and register via the link on the right here. If you're not signing in with an Open Athens account, you can also um, register with a specific login information that has been set up on your behalf, which you might have gotten as a student. Otherwise, you can simply go to register over here on the far right and then register with an email address. Um, this gives you a certain amount of access. I'm not sure exactly what the restrictions are if you don't register with a institutional address like a university or a healthcare trust, but um, there will be quite a lot of information on there that you can still access for free. Now that you've registered or know how to register or have already logged in with your Open Athens account, up on top, you can find out what modules you can actually do. Now, every year, generally, you're required to have a certain amount of CPD and courses renewed as part of your contractual obligations to the NHS, or if you're a student to the university, or whoever your placement provider is. Now, that is generally covered under mandatory training. And mandatory training includes things like safeguarding, and various others. Now here under the courses section, you can see 34 records. Now all of these may or may not be relevant to you. It depends on the requirements where you are, but fire safety, infection control, um, moving and handling updates, resuscitation updates, safeguarding is all available here, which means once you've registered, you can access this and then also save that to a portfolio so you've got CPD coming up which means if you're unsure about some information and you go and log in and do that course again, just as a little refresher, make sure you do it when you're logged in so that you can actually keep track of it. Now I've checked some of these courses or actually all of them as looks, you can actually access here via the info button. You can then go view. And once you're in here, you have the option of accessing this further. However, what they're stating here is that if you, those courses you can access without logging in. The problem is that that won't be tracked anywhere, which means you won't actually have any evidence. So I don't see any point in trying to even follow the route of doing this without being logged in. Now on this particular one, it doesn't even allow me to access it without it. So I'm not entirely sure where the statement comes from that you could um, do the course without being logged in. I haven't been able to find that anywhere. And the last resource I want to talk about is via LinkedIn. And LinkedIn.com, for those of you that don't know, is a um, professional networking platform similar to Facebook and ver various others, but designed for business purposes, not recreation. Now, on the top right here, you see something called learning. Now, if you click on that, it takes you to the LinkedIn learning platform. And this learning platform has got various topics available. If you find a course that you like, um, try and enroll in it, and it will generally offer you a 30-day free trial. Now, that 30-day free trial means you can do all of the courses within this library, and that means you don't have any restrictions like with other free trials elsewhere. Just remember to um, cancel your membership before those 30 days are up. Um, Monthly membership at the moment is around 22, 23 pounds, somewhere in that region, and it covers various things. For example, academic writing, as I've just typed in here as a search topic about how to write a research paper, or even standard English courses like writing in English, or 
various other variations thereof. Now remember, not all of your CPD has to be specifically related to healthcare. If you were going to say you put in healthcare as a search term, you may come up with things that are not really of your interest. CPD is anything that is relevant to your personal development and your professional development in order to do your job better, which means you might say that you need to understand statistics better because you're thinking, I don't know how to properly interpret those statistics. Here we have some Python programming, in other words, how to use it for data analysis, doing something with Excel, or just understanding statistics as a whole. Now, these are video-based courses with interactive exercises and files. And once you've completed it, depending on the course, you may or may not get a certificate of completion and that you can then print and make it a part of your portfolio as well. Now, I'm hoping these resources are somewhat of a help to you. Remember to always look out for specific promotions on all platforms that provide CPD. Um, Black Friday is always a big one where a lot of promotions for annual subscriptions are rolled out. And then, of course, at the moment, as part of this big COVID-19 global epidemic we have going on, a lot of portals have reduced their prices or opened up free learning. So might as well have a bit of a search and see what you can find. Anyway, thank you very much for watching uh, another episode of the Rugged Medicine YouTube channel. I hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much and see you.